Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to the Sunday Corner. Thank you so much for joining me. I am your host. My name is Chateau Morrison. I'm a certified life coach and I'm also an independent Mary Kay business owner. I love marrying those two businesses to help you slay your game. We slay the inside and then we slay the outside. Why? Because each of us as women need more support. We need more support when it comes to our thought game. We need more support when it comes to our mindset. We need more support when it comes to our self-talk. And that's what I love to do. I'm in fact affectionately known as the Prince of Positivity because I help you to release your negativity so your positivity can absolutely reign. This is actually episode 51 of the Sunday Corner. The Sunday Corner was born last year because I realized that people such as myself, uh, A-list moms, those, those super abundant wives who are running and doing things and slaying the game in their corporate job or doing it as a mompreneur or a stay-at-home mom or a work-at-home mom, making things happen all the time, but sometimes not having any support for their own mindset not having a way to grab their own self-care. I know for myself when I was doing it in the corporate world, I mean, I was a corporate warrior, guys. By Sunday, I was done. I didn't know what to do. And I really felt like a victim without someone to talk to. Many times we find ourselves actually hiding. We're hiding because we don't want everyone to know we got some broken pieces going on inside. So what I like to do is serve up some content for you and give you some food for thought on a Sunday, give you a soft place to land, to rejuvenate, to refresh, to relax, and get yourself absolutely ready for the week ahead. And that's what we're gonna do today. I'm actually taping this early, early, early on Sunday morning. It's about 12.30 Sunday morning. And I'm all dressed up because I actually had a little dating weekend with my daughter. And she and I came up to New York from Maryland um, yesterday morning, very early on the train, and I just treated her to just some girl time, and it was, it's been awesome. We've had such a great time. We went to see a play tonight, because we went to see the play School of Rock. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys are familiar with the play or not. So the story is specifically about a musician <clears throat> who never really made it big. He is just adamant and passionate about rock music and being in a rock band. He's a guitar player and he just believes in it so strongly, but he hasn't made a success of himself. The thing is though, because of his passion, because of his belief, because of his thought game, he hasn't given up. And that's how he ends up going into the school system and as opposed to teaching them as a substitute teacher, he creates a band with these kids and he finds where their gifts are. Sound familiar? I mean, you know we love happy endings, but at the end of the play, he did end up with an extremely successful band and a successful and lucrative job. Not the one he initially went after, but the one that really meant something to him. You know, each of us is in a season, and sometimes we do not like the season that we're in. So today we're gonna to talk about, really briefly, four seasons that you might be in right now and how you can move through that season in joy, move through that season in contentment, move through that season passionately so that you can move on to the next one because the next one's absolutely coming. All right, so the first season we might think of as winter, the wonder season. Winter is like the wonder season. That means that you're thinking, what do I wanna do next? What's, what am I good at? What are my gifts? You know, how can I serve people the best way? How can I become a better mom? Hmm. You're wondering. You're not exactly sure yet, but you're putting pieces together. It's like you've taken the puzzle pieces and you dumped them on the table and you're looking at them and you're trying to figure out, hmm, where are the corners at? You know, what, what is this picture anyway, all right? Is that the season that you're in? And do you feel yourself judging yourself because you would like to be in a different season? Embrace winter, embrace the wandering, wandering season because it's important for you to move on to the next step. Right. Season. What if you're in the, the spring season? Maybe you're in the season where you're starting to spring into action. You know what you want now and you're starting to put the puzzle pieces together. You're like, I, I think I know what I want. So I'm ready to spring into action. 
But then what happens is you look around you to other people and you say, but boy, they're going so much faster than I'm going. You know, I'm spring, but man, my spring is kind of low. My spring's not going as high as everyone else. It doesn't have as much bounce. Is that where you are? Are you in a spring season, but as opposed to celebrating that and enjoying the process, you're busy comparing yourself to everyone else? Put your blinders on, girls. Put your blinders on because what you're doing right now is just perfect for you. It's the season that you're in. But now, what if you're in the summer season, all right? Now, the summer season is pretty hot, guys, right? No pun intended. The summer season's your sizzle season. The sizzle season. Right? Not just because of the heat. That's when you have that momentum going. Things are starting to pop for you, and you're just like, you're sizzling, right? And you're like, all right, it's happening for me. Are you in your sizzle season? Because if you are, sometimes what happens, the downfall there is you get scared. Things are working so well that you're like, you know, what if something happens? It's amazing how we can create fear where it doesn't belong. So if you happen to be in your sizzle season right now, I mean, things are popping. They're working the way they should. Think new things are coming, new opportunities. I really want to challenge you to jump in there. I mean, roll with it. I mean, be, get hot with it, sweat with it. You are in a sizzle season, and that is amazing. You're in autumn. What's the autumn season? Well, the autumn season can stand for when you are on automatic pilot, all right? You know exactly what you want to do. You've been sizzling. Things are moving on great, and it's like it's becoming automatic for you. You, you don't have to think about it anymore. That is a beautiful place to be in, especially if you're a businesswoman. But it's also a beautiful place to be if you're a mom. You might be in a situation where your kids are a little bit older, everyone knows exactly what they need to do. Maybe your household is running on automatic pilot and everything is going well. You know, you're not really having a lot of issues. Or maybe it's in your marriage. Things are just going along smooth status quo. Well, what is the challenge if you're in an autumn or automatic pilot season? Well, sometimes it starts to get a little stagnant. You know, everything is just, it's good. It's going well. You know, money's coming in or you're doing great with your business and things are go you're going right along, but you start to feel a little stagnant. Maybe you start to lose your energy a little bit because you're like, well, what's next? Ahead. Because the thing is, when you get to that automatic pilot season, that's when you start to think about the new things and you go back into the wonder season again. It's a cycle. It's just like the weather. It's a cycle. And it's a beautiful cycle and it will work if you work it. It's amazing. There's always something next. But the beauty of it is whatever season you're in is exactly the season you're supposed to be in. Let's just review them. Are you in your wondering season? Are you trying to figure it out? Are you in your spring season? Are you springing into action? Are you in your sizzle season where everything is popping? Are you in your automatic season? That, that autumn season of where things are on automatic pilot and they're just running along very smoothly. Whatever season you're in, the point is, it's perfect. Is whatever season you're in right now, like right now, again, with whatever job you have, even if it's not the job that you want, whatever your marital status is, whatever your status is of being a mom, what season are you in? And what can you embrace today, starting in the Sunday corner, that lets you know that you can be content about that? Focus and take time on what's beautiful about the season that you were in right now. Would you do that for me? I think you will love this. This will really help propel you forward for your week ahead to feel absolutely all the way up. Run. I hope this video served you in some way. That's really what my goal is. I would love to hear from you guys. You can always contact me at Chatone at ChatoneMorrison.com. You can go out to my website at ChatoneMorrison.com. And if you're thinking, hmm, there's something to that Chatone, she might be the coach for me. I have some things I want to work out to, to figure out what season I am in and where I can move forward. Go ahead and fill out my questionnaire. It's at bit.ly forward slash ready dash now. Fill out my questionnaire and then we'll set up a strategic session for you and we can figure out if I'm the coach for you. Now, as I mentioned before, I am in Mary Kay and I do love to take care of ladies' faces and their skin. So if you're thinking, you know what, I do need some help with that and I don't have a Mary Kay consultant, I would like to figure out how to get a quick look or a kick up look, I can absolutely help you with that and you can contact me about that as well.
I hope you're having a great day whenever you see this video. And if it hasn't been great yet, you still have time to make it great. And until I speak with you again, be authentic, be brilliant, and be the catalyst. Bye.